Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share this gorgeous, very wearable, glowy makeup look for this year's Christmas. I have kept the eyes very subtle and soft. It's a subtle shimmery eyes paired with bright red lips, which is perfect for Christmas daytime out or else you can definitely wear it during the nighttime as well. And the best part is that I have used a bunch of new makeup products to create this stunning look. You can definitely wear it with any of your outfits and it's going to rock on all skin tones out there. Let's get started. So skin prep is the must for any kind of makeup look. Make sure that you well prep your skin using your favorite moisturizer. Today I have already prepped my skin and I also have applied sunscreen. So for the moisturizer, this particular one is something which I'm completely obsessed with. I'm using it every single day. This one is by Formula RX. It's our barrier relief ceramide moisturizer. It's a completely gel based moisturizer. It has got rich ceramides along with that. It is having nice ceramide and it helps in fading my acne marks and makes my skin so plumped and hydrated i already have applied my sunscreen on my face now to prep my lips i'm using this new launch by dr popo and it's our multi-purpose lip balm it's very thick it's moisturizing and it actually keeps your lips moisturized the entire day guys so it's that kind of product and you can apply it on your lips on your cheeks as well now it's time to apply primer for which i'm using this new one which i have purchased during nika spring friday sale it's the elf Power Grip Primer, the best selling primer from Elf Cosmetics and you can see it's a completely gel based primer, very thick but it has got a very high level of tackiness which holds my foundation in place. Now I have got a lot of things to talk about this particular primer. So as you can see I'm applying it directly on my face. As I have mentioned I have prepped my skin using my foundation and on top of that uh, since I showed it during the daytime I have applied my sunscreen and when I have started on blending out this particular primer on top of my sunscreen it is completely looking patchy. It is actually making the sunscreen move from my face and it was not looking great. So I would advise you to apply uh, this particular primer on your moisturizer only just moisturize your face and apply this product in that way it's go going to be blending beautifully on your skin but it has got a nice tackiness which holds my uh, foundation in place now i'm going to use this particular skin tint and i'm really really in love with this particular one this is something that i have been using non-stop ever since i purchased it it's from house of makeup it is a luminous skin tint and this one is in the shade 20 medium and uh, the shade looks a little light but once you blend it out it kind of looks beautiful and you can see guys this is an amazing skin tint it pretty much gives you like high medium coverage and you can see the glow this one gives it gives you unreal glow and it's perfect one to wear during the winter months when your skin just needs uh, that level of hydration because this one is infused with hyaluronic acid which is perfectly visible you can see how plumped it made my skin look. At the same time, it also contains goji berry extract. So over a period of time, if you use it every single day, it's going to work on your blemishes on overall uh, your skin tone. And it also contains niacinamide. So I'm really in love with this particular skin tint. Now I'm going to use a concealer for which I'm using this new one. This is the Love Child Concealer Cameo in the shade Caramel Glam. The shade is such a beautiful one guys. After a long time I got a perfect concealer shade which is having that perfect amount of warmth in it which looks so stunning on Indian skin tones and as you can see I'm applying it on the inner portion of my eyes like the inner corner a little bit on the outer corner a little bit a little bit on my eyelid on the sides of my nose on the sides of my mouth. Now using my concealer brush, I'm blending that out and you can see this is like a medium to high coverage concealer and it's very creamy. It's not like patchy. It's very healthy looking underneath the eyes guys. It blends effortlessly. You can use your fingertips to blend that out and it gives you that really nice amount of coverage which doesn't look artificial you can use it every single day it kind of creases a little bit so make sure that you set your under eyes really well now i'm using a foundation brush one more time uh, and running it on all over my face to make everything look seamless and you can see this is a beautiful concealer guys so the concealer is also getting a thumbs up from my side now i'm going to use this new blush which i recently picked up from nika spring friday sale simply nam velvet cream blush in the shade soul sister this is our best selling shade and as you can see it's actually a soft berry pink color it has got hints of mauve going on and it's very creamy 
it has got more like a balmy sort of texture guys i wouldn't say that it's very creamy and overly pigmented it is having like a buildable pigmentation and it looks beautiful on indian skin tone so as you can see with the help of a brush i'm directly applying it on my cheeks i haven't set my face yet so on my cream base i'm applying it and blending out the same with the help of the uh, brush and you can see it's blending effortlessly and it's having like buildable pigmentation i have applied a lot as you can see but still it's not giving me that ample amount of color to my face the perfect amount which i need so it's having like buildable pigmentation and it looks very glowy on the skin and now this is a star of the show guys it's the hello glow setting powder from elf cosmetics the packaging is really really good and this particular shade medium is the perfect one for my skin tone as you can see with the help of a pizza puff from pack i'm going to apply this particular product guys this is something that i would highly highly suggest you to grab and you're gonna actually love it to bits you can see i've applied it underneath my eyes and you can see the difference the right side of my face looks so blurry it has completely blurred out my pores and makes everything look so smooth and flawless and you can clearly see the difference and it's very lightweight and this particular shade looks completely undetectable on my skin so it's that kind of perfect match uh, for my skin tone so if you belong to nc40 41 42 skin tone do check out the shade medium and now with the help of a brush i'm going to just run it on all over my face to set my overall face and you can see this looks beautiful you can see the close-up it is a stunning product guys i don't have a new bronzer today so for bronzing up my skin i'm using this one from glowish it's a soft radiance mini bronzer in the shade deep tan i'm in love with it i have been using this a long time guys i pretty much use it for adding some warmth to my face on the outer perimeter of my face i'm applying it as you can see i'm applying it underneath my cheekbones on my jawline and i i do also use it on my eyelid as a wash of color sometimes so on an everyday basis i use this particular one a lot guys so this is something that you can check out it's very subtle very wearable looks so nice on the skin now for the eyes for the eyeshadow palette i'm using this kiro beauty shadow me eyeshadow palette it's a very beginner friendly yet a very good quality eyeshadow palette it's a new launch and you should definitely check this one out you can see the shimmery shades are so pigmented smooth buttery texture the mattes are also very pigmented non chalky non patchy product now i'm using this light brown shade with which is having like a beige undertone i'm using this particular shade as a wash of color on all over my eyelid as well as in my crease and just creating like a complete single eyeshadow look now since it's a christmas uh, makeup guys i just need a little bit of shimmer for which i'm using this a beautiful like a soft bronze shade from the palette which has got champagne undertone with the help of my fingertips i'm applying it directly on my eyelid and you can see it has got like the tiniest amount of shimmers in it it's a very soft subtle shimmery eyeshadow which you can wear on an everyday basis you don't need uh, to add that layer of glitters on your eyes if you are not comfortable with so you can simply use this kind of very soft uh, shimmery eyeshadows and it's going to be looking perfectly all right so as you can see I'm, I'm i'm doing the same thing on my left eye now with the help of a fluffy blending brush one more time i'm going to blend out the edges so that there are no harsh lines so this is something which surely you can try out guys it's very easy to recreate now i'm going to use this uh, dark brown shade and with the help of a small defining slash smudging brush i'm going to apply it on all over my lower lash line as you can see because that's going to make everything look put together because i just want a little bit of color on my lower lash line so using a brown shade is very safe to use so you can use a light peachy brown as well now for the kajal i'm using color bar intensely rich kajal one of the very affordable kajals which i think you should definitely check out which is of amazing quality using the kajal i'm going to tight line my upper waterline and also going to use it as my eyeliner today this particular kajal is so creamy so pigmented jet black and once it sets it's not going to budge it's completely smudge proof budge proof kajal so as you can see with the help of the kajal i'm drawing a liner today so i'm not creating any winged eyeliner you can see i'm just applying the kajal very close to my lashes and i'm creating like a short liner not extending it or winging it out i'm just skipping it up to the outer point of my eye and from there i'm going to 
just tightline my lower waterline a little bit just half away applying the kajal on my lower waterline this is going to create an illusion of an almond shaped eye i do have like very big eyes uh, and this actually gives me the illusion uh, to make my eyes look even bigger so this is something that you can definitely try out this is a hack which i have been uh, trying out lately and it's working pretty well on me so just draw the kajal eyeliner very close to your lashes don't wing it out draw the kajal and it's going to look beautiful now i am setting my under eyes one more time a little bit uh, just make making sure that everything looks smooth and flawless now for the mascara guys i'm using the swiss beauty twist and turn mascara this is a new launch by swiss beauty i'm so impressed seeing the packaging and this is how the applicator looks like now I do have a lot of things to talk about this particular product. I had really really high expectation on this particular one but after I tried it guys I was so disappointed. This doesn't perform like my favorite Swiss Beauty Curl and Lift 4D mascara. It's not at all like that. The consistency is so clumpy. I had to just use a few drops of duralin with it to get my desired consistency and after coating my lashes like 50 times this is the amount of volume that i got so it was not performing at all well on my eyes guys i had to work so hard to get this kind of effect on my lashes so i'm really really disappointed and also i one thing i like to mention that i have used it for a couple of days and the applicator like the vent portion of the applicator completely comes off in the packaging so it kind of broke so i'm really really disappointed so now it's time to move on to the lips i have removed my excess lip balm and for the lipstick i'm using another of my current obsessions it's the revlon color stay sweat ink lipstick in the shade bread winner i'm in love with this particular range guys it's a little bit expensive but worth your investment you're going to love the texture you're going to love how it actually performs throughout the entire day and this particular shade bread winner is the perfect red for christmas it's that true neutral red it's not having any blue or orange undertone it's that perfect neutral toned red so pigmented these are creamy lipsticks once you apply it it glides on your lips like butter give it some time like 5 to 10 seconds and it's going to be completely transfer proof and matte and is one of the most long wearing lipsticks that i have tried out guys and believe me it's non drying and it's so long wearing you're going to love this range i have already tried out three shades i don't have a new makeup setting spray today so i'm using my very affordable yet good quality faces all time pro makeup setting uh, spray to set my overall face and letting it sit on my skin and it adds a beautiful glow it sets my makeup now i'm adding my a uh, botega a green muffler that i picked up from fable street it's a very cozy and comfy and i like the look and this particular green is so pretty for the fragrance today i am using this two i'm going to layer uh, these two on my body the first one is the very affordable plum body loving body mist in the shade vanilla vibes and i think this is a perfect warm vanilla fragrance that you can definitely try out for the winter months and to layer it on i'm using my all time favorite longcomb idol or the puffa it's that beautiful like a spicy rosy musky fragrance and pairing these two just makes everything so perfect guys and this is how it turned out absolutely in love with it So this is my final take on this year's Christmas so look merry christmas to every one of you wish you all have an amazing time with your loved and dear ones take care bye guys